Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and welcome to November. The weather forecast this week sees a large area of high pressure moving into the South Island while low pressure moves into northern New Zealand. Here is the big high, and it is a big high. Central air pressure getting close to 1040 hectopascals, and then to the north, we've got a weak area of low pressure. Over the next few days, that high moves into the South Island, and that low drifts further down towards the North Island. So let me explain that. Here is Tuesday's setup. In comes the high, so around 1033, but it's getting stronger as it moves in. The low to the north, pulling down subtropical air flows into it, so it'll be mild in the northeastern corner of the North Island with that airflow from Tonga coming down into that area. Elsewhere, it's a southerly flow caused by the high. So it'll be colder around Southland and Otago and Canterbury. You've also got some showers coming through there, which will be welcome, I'm sure, for those who need a bit of rain. It's getting quite dry along the eastern side of the South Island. By Wednesday, the low deepens and the high strengthens, and what that does is create a strong windy squash zone, and that's exactly what we see on Wednesday. So gale force uh, southeasterlies are possible, or easterly winds, depending on where you are. Locally, just if you're up against the hills and ranges around Hawke's Bay and moving in towards Central Plateau, there might be some areas with damaging gusts just here and there as that system moves through. And the rain moves down the eastern side, which will be welcome. You also get it up in Northland, hopefully falling in the last remaining areas that need a little bit more rain. The good news is, though, like I say, some wet weather coming in for the dry eastern North Island. By Thursday, the same setup, more wet weather coming through. Go to uh, weatherwatch.co.nz or ruralweather.co.nz to get your latest hyperlocal rainfall totals. It's updated every one hour and we'll be crunching not only this model that we're showing you here, but all the other models that we've got. But as you can see, wet weather comes through there to, uh, into Thursday. And then by the time we get to the end of the week, Friday, it's still potentially showers uh, falling in that area there. So the low is not very big. The high is quite powerful. It does start to weaken again by Friday, but it's also got a second kind of cousin out here in the Tasman Sea. So easterly winds, it's going to feel like La Nina this week. And speaking of La Nina, our Climate Watch video is also out today. We're talking all about La Nina. There's a 70% chance that we're going to have it this summer. And our final map for Saturday shows not a great deal of change. More showers. So, I mean, there'll be a lot of happy people in Hawke's Bay who need that rain. There might be some others that don't want a week of it, but either way, you've got plenty of cloud showers and easterly winds for the eastern side of the North Island. That means those in the western side of both islands will likely lean a little bit warmer than average, although the west coast does have a few cooler days coming through at the start of this week with those southerlies. But that's pretty much it. We end on Saturday with the southeasterly still blowing over the North Island. That's all from me. We'll have that Climate Watch video out today as well. Otherwise, our next forecast is out on Tuesday.